Hello and welcome to the second part of this series on Automation for Modeling with STAT. I am Surajit Ghosh and in this session, I will cover how we can use different automation technique to generate a complete structural model with proper geometry data, section and specification. For different type of structure like a concrete building or steel frame, we can develop different set of tools based on the element and section information and access that directly from STAT. In the first part, I have covered how we can link a custom tool with STAT using different approach. We can develop a tool in STAT script editor and access it from STAT interface. Also, we can develop a tool in Excel with VBA and access it directly from STAT interface or use it as a standalone application. I have developed several such automation tool using Excel in STAT and as a separate application. Tool which is developed using STAT script editor has a format .vbs, whereas tools developed in Excel with VBA has a file format .xlsm or macro enabled Excel file. I'll start with a simple tool that I have developed using VBA in STAD script editor to find which type of dressing arrangement is more economic. Using this, we can create a frame with different dressing arrangement. It is saved as VBS file, which we can also open or edit in notepad. We need a blank STAD model to use this tool. In STAD interface, under utilities ribbon, development tools are available. Using macro editor, we can create a tool using VBA. By default, a sample code is available. After coding, we can save it as VBS file. Then use this macro option to import the file and run. These are my personal macro. To add this tool, we can browse and select the VBS file. We can also include a short description in the code to identify the tool. If required, we can edit this tool using script editor. Like if we want to include a new option, we can open the user dialog box and add a new entry. Using this, we can take any input from the user or print something. To run this tool, double click and this will open the user input window. Here we can provide different information of the frame, number of bay and length in X and Y axis, type of bracing like X, Sevran, V, K or diagonal, support type. Based on these inputs, entire frame model will be generated in a single click. See, within a second, this model is generated. If we are not happy with this model or if there is any mistake, we can delete the structure or open a new STAD model. Once again, open the macro dialog where the tool is permanently saved for future use and provide the correct input. Say this time a Sevran bracing with 8 bay in X direction and pin support. Now the model is regenerated with updated input. Easy, right? We can further improve this tool, assign any property, load or specification, analyze the file and compare two three different scenario to get the most optimum arrangement in a single click. How we can achieve that? I will discuss that in third part. Using similar approach, we can develop a tool to model a complete 3D structure, building, plant or warehouse. I have developed several such tools which are listed here under user tools drop down. These are default tools and rest of the tools are added later using this configure option. Here we can create a new item, browse the location of VBS file and include it in the user tools list. Few of my modeling tools are available under this modeling tool tab. Similarly, I have created different tabs for load generation or water tank modeling. With these automation tools, I can create different types of structure including a 3D model, PEB, solar structure or solid mesh model, 
even adjust the member offset of any existing structure. Using this option, we can generate a 3D structural model with different model data. It opens a macro enabled Excel or XLSM file where I have developed the code using VBA and different OpenStat function. On basis of the user inputs provided here, model is generated in STAT with proper geometry, property, material and support condition. OpenStat function links these inputs with STAT engine. Like using these two functions, we can create a member in STAT with proper length or use this function to assign property. To create the model, we need to provide geometry information, number of bay along three axis, bay type, start coordinate and length. Along with this, we can assign member property for concrete, rectangular or circular section. For steel, select the database and provide the section name. Right now, four databases are available including Indian code form section, but we can include more. If required, we can also model the slab using plate mesh and specify thickness of the slab. I am going to skip this option. Use 600 by 600 column section and 400 by 250 beam section with concrete material. Once done, click on this generate option. It will verify the unit system and generate entire structure with beam and column within few seconds. We can cross check the section information from property page. Beam and column sections are assigned correctly in the model. Different height in y direction with fixed support at base. By providing few information of the model, in a single click we have generated this structure. If any dimension or assigned section is changed in a new project, we can generate that with same tool by providing updated input. This not only minimizes the modeling time, also eliminate any chance of human error during modeling. Using same principle, we can develop multiple tools to generate different types of structure. Consider this one. Using this, we can generate a solar mounting structure with all property and specification. It is also developed in Excel. We can open this separately, but I prefer to link all useful tools with STAT so that it can be launched directly from the interface. This is a bit complicated than the previous one. For any solar mounting structure, there are different panel arrangement like 2P or 4L. Also, dimension of solar panels manufactured by different vendor might vary. On basis of these inputs and few other, like number of bay, inclination, purlin and ground distance, overhang at the end, main structural model is generated. We can also add bracing in longitudinal or cross direction, include tilting arrangement. Finally, Specify section and specification. We can select Indian hot rolled or cold form database from the drop down and provide the section name. For column and inclined beams, hollow sections are used. And for bracing and purlin, cold form angle and channel sections are used. For purlin, bit angle is automatically considered to adjust the slope. Once all inputs are provided, we can use the generate option which instantly create the structure in this stat file. Check the file. Geometry is created properly. Member lengths are internally determined based on the inputs. In this model, we have specified tilting arrangement along with pressing. Next is property. All sections are assigned properly to the member along with beta angle to bar lengths. Member groups are added to identify different set of members for load or design parameter assignment. We can further enhance the macro to assign load or design parameter. I'll cover this later. This model is ready and for analysis, we need load items. If we want to assign load in this model or any model, 
First, we need to create few primary load keys with proper load type, then load combination and envelope. For similar type of project, normally these load keys and combinations are identical. But for each model, we need to create it from scratch. Using another tool, we can eliminate this and add basic load case with correct load type in one click. Common types of load used in any project are listed here. We can select loads which we want to add in the model, say dead and live load, two wind load and two static seismic load. Finally, provide the starting load case number. With this, all loads are now added to this model. We can also verify the load types for each load case. It is assigned correctly. Load type is important if we want to generate combinations using autoload combination or generate mass model. We can further enhance it to generate both load case and combination following any design code. Using this, we can create multiple load case of single category with user-defined load title, generate combinations based on Indian concrete or steel design code. With one click, all these loads and combinations are now added to the model and we can proceed directly to load assignment. Using automation, we can minimize the modeling time and increase efficiency. Also, there are several structures which are not easy to model instead. For example, a tunnel or TG foundation with solid element. For any solid element, we need to select 8 different nodes in proper order, which is quite hard to model. And if we consider a solid mesh with several irregular elements like this, it is almost impossible to model instead. In such case, automation is very useful. We can develop a tool with correct equation and OpenStat function which can create a model of circular or semicircular tunnel with solid element. We need to provide information related to tunnel geometry like internal and external dia, length, division. On basis of this, node coordinates are internally calculated and solid elements are generated instead. In this model, multiple curved element is added to form the tunnel shape. And after analysis, we can use the solid stress for design. Similarly, we can generate a solid mesh model instead using a plate mesh as reference. This is basically a machine foundation with couple of cutouts. As the thickness of foundation is quite high, plate element is not a correct choice and we need to model this using solid block. Manually, it is quite impossible to generate a solid mesh of this shape. But Using an automation tool, we can easily generate this. We can select the plates which defines the mesh quality and shape, specify thickness, layer number and direction. Within few seconds, entire solid mesh model is generated, considering existing plate mesh as reference. If required, we can enhance the solid mesh quality. All cutouts are considered properly and there is no problem with connectivity or negative volume. Using this type of automation tool, we can easily model any complex structure with member, plate or solid with variable shape by providing correct structure information. We have also developed few tools to model an overhead tank or circular clarifier model with finite element mesh with proper plate connectivity. These tools can be used for quick and efficient modeling of tank. We can also develop similar tool to edit or update an existing model like a tool to auto adjust a member offset. Instead, offset command is used to adjust the member position and we need to calculate this value manually using section dimension of the connected member. For this group, to place the purlin on top of raptor, Offset value is calculated as half depth of rafter section plus half of purlin section. After assignment, if any section is modified, we need to again recalculate and assign this value. Using a tool, we can eliminate this manual process 
and assign or update the offset value based on current section dimension. Similarly, we can edit other specification like beta angle or end release. In any industrial or residential steel structure, different built up sections are used including plate girder, channel or hollow section. Few user defined sections are used in all projects, but each time we need to define those instead. It is not possible to store a user table section unless it is included in the section database. Using an automation tool, we can fix this and add multiple built up section from different category. I have developed this tool to add wide flange, taper eye, channel, angle or hollow section instead as a user table. For example, we can select section type, define section name, dimension and property of few wide flange section. Based on dimension, we can also recalculate property value. Then add all these section instead in a click. Now these three sections are added in the user table with correct dimension and property. We can also add other type of section. If there is any excel file with predefined built up section data, we can link that directly to stat and add required section in any model. I have several other examples where automation can help to minimize the modeling time, like a tool which can generate entire PV structure geometry with tapered section property, load and design parameter. I'll cover those latter in a separate video. In next part, I'll discuss another important modeling aspect which we can simplify using automation, load assignment. Keep watching.